Okay, hi. <clears throat> this is me, Keisha from Ultimate You again. And I just came in from swimming. Don't know if you can see my sexy swimsuits. Yeah. So, I am going to. Ow. I have a split nail. Talk about hair today, which is my new thing hair care. And because of all the swimming, I had to cut a good bit of it out. So now, that's all I got. That's it. Here I have an oil mixture that I showed a video on. That's my baby. And why I have so much faith in this now is the fact that my hairdresser wanted to know what the hell I was doing when I went back to her after like a month of using this at home because I needed something and she told me use a leave-in conditioner which wasn't doing nothing for me so I did a little research on different oils and different stuff to keep the hair moist and not break up not frizzy not you know just keep it good keep it full let it grow make it thicker and I already had thick hair but it was really thinning out and now it's not these are the little labels I did for the oils I will do a video tomorrow because what I did was I was um, I did a few of them and I put at the store so everything basically is at the store already for sale so that's what it's going to look like my ultimate you pure as a get skin care and hair care with benefits hair growth oil and my ingredients here is extra virgin olive oil organic coconut oil jamaican black castor oil vitamin e rosemary burdock roots and that's what i got in here and this is really good and people when i say i dig and do research i have been doing this research and these stuff for a good while then i make the mixture i try it for myself because no matter what i put in my hair it's dry no matter what i do to it my ends are just frizzy like old dolly hair if you know what that is or what that looks like so what i'm excited about right now is i wash my hair after swimming and I air dry coming on the road while I was driving. The only thing I didn't do is stick my head out the window. And I just love it. One, I keep smelling it all the way because it smells fantastic. I did a shampoo from my liquid soap bag. Yeah. Yeah. I did a conditioning shampoo and the one I did was um vitamin E booster shampoo now they give you the basic and then they give you oil blends now none of the oil blends I was really interested in because they were like summer garden no um, lemon refreshing no classic mo romance no. I'm not interested in oil blends but I didn't want to do a good moisturizing shampoo so I did the moisturizing shampoo which turned out fantastic I got like it was a six pound so I got like 12 pounds of um, soap this is what it looks like this is after I thicken it with I thicken it and neutralize it with like an ounce and a half of borax which also helps to clean it and my hair did not dry out my hair don't feel brittle I don't know how it looking to you guys it's supposed to be looking like really dry because I just washed it but it feels nice so even if I think even if it probably looking dry it feels nice it feels moisturized let me see well, it does look a bit dry but it's not the hair feels good it really does and to me it works if it works on me then better button dollar it's going to work for somebody else with my hair type my hair problem and even when i was leaving the pool tonight the coach and other ladies while i was saying i was like what is that smell that smell good is that your shampoo god i give away the bottle i went with that's to tell you and um the vitamin e booster this is the label i did for it already i don't stick what i did was i added mint essential oil I added a bit of 
aloe vera gel but the pure aloe vera gel from the plant because I got a big plant but plants because you know they spread I did that excuse me I added a bit of the silk protein you get that in a powder form um, the rosemary the burdock root so people that don't know what burdock root is research it is the best thing and the main thing in hair restoration right now anywhere you go so anybody advertising hair restoration from your head falling out boa that's what grows it back it was hard to get it took me like two months to find it and to get it at a good price and then get it shipped to me and then I kind of like draw it in the water that I do the lime mixture draw it in that so it's mixing with that I do it cold too like if I'm doing a milk soap to do that so believe me I have done my research and the shampoo is the bomb I can't wait for people to start buying that and trying that out and um, I did flexseed gel as well don't know if you can see that um, not really my thing but I am going to try it tomorrow when I comb up my hair in one and see how that works so people that's it I'm showing off my shampoo that just smells well I don't know terrific it laddered well enough I, I didn't find it was super laddering to be honest but it laddered well enough but what I learned recently is, you know, we black people especially love to put 10 pound of crap in our hair. We grease it down, we oil it down, we spray it, we moisturize it, we do everything at once. And I have realized slowly but surely, less is best. So, that's my hair. I'm going to do a next video right after this on how I'm going to seal and moisturize because I don't want to bore you guys. So. Thanks for watching. I was just showing off my hair oil and my fantastic shampoo. And if you can see, it's really, it's thick. You see, guys, I don't know if you guys see that. See that? It's thick. This is my bottle. I don't sell it this big. I sell it in an eight ounce bottle. This one is for me. It's really thick. And I didn't add no color, so that's the natural color after I add the vitamin E and the aloe vera and the mint and so forth and so forth. So people, I'm going to post this on the Facebook channel, Caribbean People with Natural Hair. You guys will love this. You guys will love the oil even more. And well, I got the flex seed gel as well. So that's it guys. Thank you. I'm a bit tired now. I show my eyes are all red from all that chlorine water. Bye. Good night. Okay, good night. I can't find the...